Good evening. Thank you, commissioners, for the opportunity. My name is Camilla Feibelman. I'm the Rio Grande chapter director for the Sierra Club. We represent over 7,000 members throughout the state. I think it's important the commission remember that for so long, the real cost of coal, those fossil fuel costs have been externalized. The real cost of coal and burning other fossil fuels can be seen in global warming and all of its effects, especially in the state drought. It can be seen in heart and lung disease that lead to premature death. It can be seen in the asthma, cases of asthma that plague our kids and lead to days missed at school and related days missed at work. We need to accept the new reality. Fossil fuels are unstable. Their prices are unstable, as we've seen with plummeting costs here in New Mexico or plummeting income, and thus a big impact on our local budget. We need the PRC and PNM to protect us and protect the people whose jobs depend on fossil fuels. And if PNM and the PRC don't have that ability, they really are putting our state's future at risk. Renewable energy represents a new horizon for New Mexico. Since 2009, the cost of re renewable energy in New Mexico has plummeted two-thirds. It's worth remembering that $1 million invested in solar energy results in 14 jobs. A million dollars invested in wind leads to 13 jobs. A million dollars invested in natural gas leads to five jobs. A million dollars invested in coal leads to seven jobs. There are 1,600 local renewable energy jobs in 2014 in New Mexico. And I think it's worth remembering that in this replacement case, the 40 megawatts of solar being proposed aren't even being included in the renewable uh, procurement plan of PNM because it's just cost effective. They don't even have to count it towards their renewable portfolio standard. In Macho Springs, EPE found that this was just the cheapest way to go, solar, and it generated 300 construction jobs. New Mexico was just rated one of the top 10 states on green jobs, and that was in large part because of building big renewable uh, plants out in Quay County and DeBaca County, rural counties that do need those jobs. New Mexico is second in the nation's capacity on solar, and yet, as many before me have said, we're the last on the list. I want to clarify someone to, something to everyone in the crowd, because I think a lot of us have been given talking points that make it sound like this plan is just one big plan. That is not the case. I think all of us... Sure. I think all of us agree it is odd that I'm the only one you've asked that of. <laughs> so I think we all agree on shutting down stacks two and three. That's yes. part of the plan that we all agree on. But what we don't agree on is what to replace that energy with. Okay? The current proposal for replacement will cost us a billion dollars, and there are big questions still standing. Where are you going to get the coal? Are you going to buy the mine, or are you going to get the coal from somebody else? Where is the ash going to go, and how much is that going to cost? Why do you get more than three minutes? What are the implications of uh, the new carbon and methane rules? Ms. Seibelman? Yes. I have one more. I've got a couple more lines. Okay, because nobody else has been asked to everyone, stop. Nobody's everyone, asked to wrap everyone else needs a chance as well. I'll get, finish my last sentence. Um, <laughs> since 2008, uh, ratepayers' uh, cost has gone up 77 percent. PNM's profits have gone up 450 percent, and stock prices 200 percent. $23 million will, as a result, be paid to PNM's top five executives. So we don't want to see any more coal at stack four. We don't want to see nukes from Palo Verde stack three. This is a Kodak moment. Kodak didn't realize that it was time for digital photography, and they went out of business. 
So if you're in favor of more renewables in this replacement plan, stand up.